Judd Hall here with Lafayette Men's Lacrosse. I just want to say thank you to the entire Richmond staff um, for really developing and spearheading uh, this coaching through cancellation, giving us all an opportunity to stay connected to the to the game we love and are missing right now. Um, obviously, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy as well as their family and friends. Thank you. All right, going to be going over two defensive skill work drills here. Um, both are you know fairly simple and I think can be done really kind of at any level. Um, you know, middle school all the way through college, depending on what you want your focus to be. But um, the two drills are a peel drill and then our gauntlet dodging. Um, the peel drill is uh, all kind of small sided stuff that you can do with just, you know, a small group of guys or defensive personnel um, during a, you know, pre practice or skill work segment um, that you can get, you know, a lot of fundamental work done in a pretty short period of time. So the first one's a fundamental focus, small group work. Um, you're going to work on basically. You know, your field landmarks on where you want to play the ball above goal line, uh, how you, you know, an approach to a dodge, and then uh, a sliding rep above GLE, um, really focused on the timing and arrival, uh, and then our initial peel and recovery from that on-ball defender. Um, and you can be pretty fluid with the drill in terms of telling them they have to slide or they're reading the dodge, um, depends on what you want to get out of the drill that day. Uh, and then our gauntlet dodging drill, also, you know, small group work. Um, this can be done with, you know, really any personnel. The video you're going to see is just all poles, but it's going to work on our below goal line approach and initial back pedal. Um, it's going to create a one-on-one -on -one that's going to come off of an advantage for the offensive player. And it's going to give your slider, uh, you know, a rep at you know, really reading the dodger and reading the on-ball defender. Um, and both can be done at kind of the same time. So I'll take you through two quick diagrams of the drill just so you get a feel for what you're going to see, and then we'll get into the film. Um, so the first drill here above goal line is peel drill, and it can really go on on either side of the goal above goal line. Um, it can go simultaneously, or you can alternate sides. Uh, what you're going to get is you have an offensive player, you have a defensive player playing the ball, and you have a slider on each half of the field. So the, we're going to approach the ball, offensive player is going to start his dodge, defenseman's going to go and arrive, um, and then we're going to work on that peel from the on-ball defender to the inside. A lot of times we'll use a cone or a dummy, which you'll see on the film. Um, and then that rep ends and you can go to the other side, do the exact same thing, slide, arrive, work on the peel uh, and recovery. So pretty simple drill, but you can get a lot of reps done um, in a kind of a non-contact format. The second drill, gauntlet dodging is actually going to be below goal line. So that uh, the crease there and then that orange cone is basically the end line. Um, you're going to have a slider on the inside. You're going to have an on-ball defender really right at X who's going to approach the, uh, the end line first. And then you have two offensive players on either side, and a coach is going to either tell or predetermine uh, which offensive player is going to be live in that drill uh, as we get into it. Um, but just so you have the flow of the drill, he's going to start. He's going to approach the cone. When he hits that cone and starts to backpedal, once he gets in the vision of the offensive player, whichever offensive player was told to go, um, can start his dodge, and then the defenseman's basically working on taking away top side, recovering, and then allowing that guy to slide uh, at the back of the helmet if he needs to, and just rotate personnel through the drill. Uh, so here, what we'll do in the film is really start, both drills are going on at the same time, we'll actually start by watching um, the peel drill, which is going on above the cage up here, and then our gauntlet dodging is going on down low. So you have a dummy here, you have a dummy here, and then you have a line of guys up top, on either alley uh, for the peel drill. So the first rep here is a good example. Ball's right here, coach throws it to him, we're gonna get an approach, he's gonna dodge, we're gonna slide, and then we're working on the, that initial recovery just into the dummy, and then we go to the other side. All right, so as that goes here, you get an approach, dodge, slide, arrive, recover. Um, and then fast forward here through some of the teaching as you can see more live reps as we start to go on the drill. And then as you get creative with it, the coach may, you know, throw the ball back, uh, force that guy to kind of backpedal a couple times, slide, arrive, recover. All right. Working on the other side now, and it doesn't have to be short sticks, always getting dodged could be your poles. Um, but just really working us working on the landmarks, uh, taking away the middle of the field, you know, recovering to the inside quickly and then bumping out. Um, and the drill can flow as fast or as slow as you want it. If you want to go both sides at the same time, that's possible. If you want to alternate, um, you can stop, make teaching points, um, and continue to get reps. Uh, kind of in, like we said, that non, you know, pre-practice, limited contact role if you need to. And this drill can be as live uh, or as scripted as you want it to be. Um, but simple, fundamental focus, play the ball, approach, backpedal, 
you know, approach. All right, we're going again, arrive, recover. Um, and then the next kind of component to this drill is you can add a, you know, a redodge piece to it where, all right, we slide, we arrive, we recover. You can have that guy who initially dodged like re-square and then re-attack the dodger again um, to get the reps you're looking for, um, depending on what you want your focus to be. Uh, and then the communication aspects to this drill is just your slider communicating that, that he's, he's ready to go. You're getting ball calls from your on-ball guy and then recovery language, whatever that might be, whether you're telling a guy to recover inside and bump out or whatever your language is. As we transition to the next part of the drill here, we'll go back to the, the gauntlet dodging now. So you have a defender here. He's your on-ball defender. You have a dummy here who he's going to initially approach. And you have a slider on the inside. So just for this this day, all our close defenses working down here. Our you know LSMs, our rope unit, short sticks were all up here. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to approach the bag, he's going to arrive, and he's going to backpedal all the way through. And then in this instance, the coach is telling which offensive player is the live one, and then he's got to react to it. Uh, the slider is then reading the dodge, whether or not he want, needs to go or not. Um, so you have to play around with the timing of this to make this dodge a little, you know, somewhat realistic where he has an advantage, but he's not able to just turn the corner right away. Um, so that's how the drill is going to work. So you're going to see a pretty good rep here. He approaches, he backpedals, he's backpedaling all the way through. All right, dodge goes, he turns him and we arrive back at the helmet. Um, and you can make it where you're going every time, you're telling the, the slider to read that, um, you know, whether you're cross check hold or V hold, um, you know, that's however you wanna play it, but uh, a lot of different things you can incorporate into the drill uh, in a pretty short amount of time in terms of limited reps as well as limited bodies. So as we get going here, get another rep, and then just let this play as guys can see. So we go, I told the other guy he was live, you know, turns him, all right, we arrive back at the helmet. And then for the for the slider, you're really focused on the timing piece. Like if we're going to go, we want to be decisive and we want to go and arrive. If we're not going to go, we want to be ready to snap back uh, and trust that on-ball defender. You know, a little bit better job there of the slider. Obviously, you want to take away top side and not allow that guy to... The goal would be not allow him to really post up and get vertical uh, above the cage north-south. We'll just let some of these continue to play so you guys can get a feel for both drills, uh, both peel drill above goal line and the gauntlet dodging below.